In this video, we are going to see that how can we launch Jupyter Notebook and what are the several things which can be done in Jupyter Notebook. So Jupyter Notebook is an open source web application that allows you to create and share documents that contain live codes, equation, visualization and narrative text. Users include data cleaning, transformation, numerical stimulation, statistical modeling, data visualization, machine learning and much more. So there are two ways to launch Jupyter Notebook. One is you can simply open your Anaconda Navigator and launch the Jupyter Notebook or else you can start launching Jupyter Notebook from typing here in your search bar and you can type here Jupyter Notebook and you can launch it from here also. So both are the same ways of launching. So I'm doing it from here. So it is launching the notebook. And here you can see that this is the home page and files it contains all the files that are in your system and several ipnb files which you can create here for creating a new python 3 notebook you can click on new and then you can click here on python 3 so this will create a new notebook for you coming back to the home page running here shows you that if there are any terminals running or any notebook is running or not so currently running Jupyter Notebooks are shown in this process. If here you come to the Jupyter Notebook, now this is how a notebook looks like. Here you can change the name of the notebook also. For example, I am giving the notebook name as Notebook 1. and rename it so you can simply rename the notebook from here and this is called a cell here you write your line of code and you execute that you can execute it while clicking on the run button or you can just press shift enter for example let us write a very basic command print hello and as i press shift enter you can see it prints hello so this is the first cell and according to that the output is resolved now this plus actually insert a cell below and this is for cutting the selected cells next here we have in the file you can open a new notebook also rename and save a checkpoint also do that in the home here you can if you want to upload any file which is there into your system and then operate it here on Jupyter notebook then you have to click on here upload and then from here you can upload any file such as I have two csv file flights and salaries you can open it from here and upload in your notebook and then assess it in your program now here in the running you can see that notebook one dot ipynb this is the extension is running you can shut down that notebook from here also so this is about jupyter notebook where we write several codes and do several implementation also here you can see that if you want to just not write a code you want to give a heading so for that you can give a heading like that and you can right here test one so this is your heading you can create several headings also with the help of jupyter notebook this is not a code cell this is a heading cell and this is the kernel which we are currently operating on and if sometimes it hangs up while running the code then you can restart the kernel also and run all the cells or you can change the kernel also if there is any other kernel so this is about jupyter notebook where we are going to be executing our several codes of python